Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome to a perfectly normal game of StarCraft II. Let's fire up a new campaign and enjoy our perfectly normal time. They say a man never really knows himself. Well, I'm glad that we know that now. Adjutant. All right. Let's head into level one, Liberation Day. This has become the hub for all operations on Mostara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city and they are now under strength. All right, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. Absolutely. Hello there, Jim, and hello to your Marines. Break it down. Alright, Jim, he's got Whirlwind, 16 damage, looks pretty basic. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. Yep, let's do this. Time to man up. Come on, boys. Time to man up. This is starting to look Let's go, boys. Take him down. Commander, a large Dominion force is gathering in the center of town. Get him, get him, get him! I, I really don't think we need the reinforcements, but yeah, it, I mean, thanks. Did you know that James Rayner is very, very, very tall? Dominion engineers been digging out here for months. See that crane? They're getting ready to move the artifact they found off-world. Well, I'll be damned. See? You gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. All right. Time to give the Dominion a wake-up call. Let's smash that base and haul that baby out of there. All right, simple enough. Take the base. I can do that. All right, SCVs, you guys get going. We've got three of our zealots right off the bat, so that should be plenty to uh, advance. Let's go, go, go! Move in. Let's save the base. They actually managed to kill one of my dudes. That was weird of them. But luckily, now, I have these Death Heads guys. They've got 65 health, 5 damage, 12 versus light, and uh, 30 damage structure hitting attacks. So, yeah, that's pretty damn good. Very good. All right, one Marine, target the barracks. That's another mission beat. Hey, sweet, we got a glowy. Time for the next level. I've got transport coming to pick us up. All we got to do is sit tight. Don't sound too hard. I figure. We earned ourselves a little R&R. &R. Commander, I'm detecting a massive concentration of Zerg biosignatures landing at the abandoned dig site. Uh-oh. I should have known it. All right, in we go. First things first. Go ahead. Let's get our gas supplies going. Now, of course, we don't actually have any bunkers, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have these lovely perdition turrets. And, uh, of course, in case there's any flyers, we've got these lovely spore crawlers. Oh, we got our first attack wave coming in. It's, uh, it's a handful of zerglings. Now, I do have a turret, so it's gonna be just fine. Okay, you, you guys need to come back here, let the turrets do their work. 
There! See? It does 20 damage against light units with a decent range. Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Take your time, Matt. No rush. I mean, yeah, I have to agree. There really isn't a rush right now. They are not getting past these turrets. Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the party. I mean, we yeah, I'm, time, I'm doing fine. Now let's get you boys out of there. Well, thank you. I appreciate the pickup. The cool news, though, is that now I can finally start getting, like, some major upgrades for my army. So, let's see what I can do. Upgrade time. So, for the turrets, we can increase the attack range. Ooh, that's really good on those turrets. Spore crawlers, we can spawn broodlings on death, increase the attack range. Uh, I mean, it's not great. For the ire zealots, we could increase the life by 20% or make them faster. I mean, that's pretty basic. But the death's heads, we could gain plus one range and additional plus three damage to light armor. And also, we could have them heal every second if they are out of combat. That's kind of absolutely insane. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Well, that's not good. Ah, uh, hell. Start the recording. Come on, workers. I can at least grab the first relic and then retreat back. I mean, they've got a decent force. Okay, well... Maybe not. They are being attacked with overwhelming force. I still got a death head. Yeah, they got stalkers. That might be a problem. Sweet! Marauders! I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is! Let the marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. SCV ready. Yep. I'm listening. Okay, where where's my marauders? I'm not seeing my marauders. SCV ready. Swan. Oh. Well, I don't exactly have Marauders, but I can build Mutalisks, which is almost as good. Can these things even attack air? Yeah, they can. Smash and grab beat. All right. Time to save some colonists. Thank you so much for responding to our distress call, Commander. I'm Dr. Ariel Hansen, and I represent the people of the Agria Colony. Good to know. To Let the battle begin. There we go. Here's my new unit for the level. The Hybrid Nemesis. 
with a 20 damage annihilation beam, 2 armor, 200 shields, 400 health, and uh, phase shift abilities. So, yeah, that, that that's probably fair. You know, seems pretty normal to me. You know, it's nice to see the uh, hybrid nemesis just hanging out here in the armory. I wonder what we can do to upgrade them. Uh, unit gains increased weapon range. Uh, so increase weapon range by one. And they cost a third the supply. They'd go down... Holy crap. They'd go all the way down from six to four. That's actually crazy. Uh, but first, I think we need to check uh, how we're doing with our research. See what kind of options we can get. Uh, I think we've got enough Zerg research to unlock the first thing. So I could either get defensive structures, gain a 50% increase in life. Or incendiary attacks deal 25% plus an extra 25% against light and more damage. Gonna have me some fun. Yeah, that seems about right. Why should we have, uh, why should we get Reapers on this fight when Tosh has given us carriers? You know, this is going about as well as I figured it would. For some reason, I don't think they're really balanced around fighting a small fleet of carriers. Sure, it's probably fair if my carriers cost 20% less resources. And why not increase their attack speed by 25%? What have we got, Matt? The Dominion's restored power to the old rail network. They're using the trains to move salvage to a central processing station. You know, I've got some pretty decent units, but they're not really all that fast. I'm going to need some serious firepower if I want to make sure that I take out these trains. Ah. Okay. That might do it. Yeah, I I think a mothership is going to do just fine. Boy, I sure hope my five motherships can do something about that. You know, that is about as well as I figured a train would do against five Protoss motherships. Fanatics call the Tal Darim. They believe the Tarazin is secret. A gift huh. from the Zernaga. Hey, what do you know? I finally have some medics. Infested medics, but you know, it's it's the thought that counts. Gonna be honest. In the end, I think the fact I have access to carriers and nemesis. And uh, motherships helped a little more than the infested medics. Dead man's port. It's risky just waiting here with all these mercenaries around. Incoming transmission. I left a little present out here for you and Matthew. I never got to give it to him last time you boys were here. Damn, Jimmy. Are those vulture bikes? I. No, I don't think those are vulture bikes. Those are... What the hell even are those? Siege tanks? Okay, siege tanks with 110 damage cannons. Alright, that's definitely going to help. Yeah, that that's about as well as I figured it would go. All right, all right, I surrender. Hey. Our team's in position. 
We're ready to steal the Odin. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Team? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. What's in it? Huh. Tychus. You're looking um Go, go, go. This ain't a stealth mission anymore, ladies. You're you're looking a little different, but yeah, I shouldn't judge. Apparently this is Tychus's ultimate form. All right, Tychus finally gets to go inside the Odin, which is, interestingly enough, apparently smaller than he is. Oh, oh my god. I can't wait to get inside that thing and tear this place up. Um, Hold your position. okay, apparently you the, the Odin is just a very bulky marauder. That does not instill me with a great deal of confidence for this mission. Okay. This time, I think I have a plan that is actually going to work. Uh, but it does involve a bit of trickery. And I am going to need a tech lab really damn fast. Alright, we're gonna build a hybrid nemesis immediately. And I can grab an extra thing of minerals there. Sir, I'm picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Cool. Alright, a hybrid and two nemesis. You can build more to stop for. Those are not wraiths, Swan. Aside from the rough start, that actually went decently smooth. Oh dear God, Tychus! What the hell did you do to your Odin? Oh my god. It gave me the Leviathan. Um. Okay. Odin has gone rogue. Repeat. Odin has gone rogue. So, I can, in fact, build more Leviathans. They've only got uh, 650 HP. Their attacks are still pretty decent overall but <laughs> yeah definitely not as strong as the um <clears throat> Odin. do you think it would be funny if my leviathans stole resources every time they attacked structures let's help tosh break prisoners out of false um Hello, Tosh. Uh, what the hell are you? Well, Ancient Guardian. With eye beams. I mean, okay. I, I don't really see a lot in the way of stealth options here. It took a while. But it's doing okay. And where, where, where are you go? Oh dear God! The mother ships from here just attack move to the final base, and Tosh has eight health left. Yeah, it kind of looks like my uh, hybrids and mother ships are gonna have this situation handled. Especially now that I have three motherships. Next mission. Outbreak. Normally one of the ones you actually do very early. So what do we have to defend our... Oh. Oh! You know, I think we're gonna be just fine. Hey, 
Ah, oh, sweet! Hellions! And I'm sure he's actually going to send us Hellions. Or, you know, Torin Space Marines. Sure! That's... That's close enough to Hellions, right? You ever just feel like completing this level during the night? Because it's quite fun, especially when you have a hybrid nemesis in Carrier Death Fleet. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. Hmm. We're gonna have to stop that purifier. Well, that's gonna be a problem. I have to take down a Protoss mothership. Oh. The Protoss nexuses that are channeling power to the purifier ship. Um. Well, yeah, I think three souped-up battle cruisers should do it. You know, I don't think the game was ever balanced around having three super battle cruisers and a carrier whose drones just constantly repairs them. Yeah, it's it's probably okay if one of my mercenary fleets is just three of those battle cruisers, but with forty five percent more health and damage. Watch your corners, boys. We don't know who cleaned this place out. Oh, Terry. Hold up there. Those Protoss cannons will tear us a new one if we try to advance. Swan, you promised me siege tanks. Where are they? Settle down, hotshot. They're coming. Oh, okay. Um, knock those cannons down from a nice, safe distance. I'm. I don't think they will. And those don't look like siege tanks. And yet. I really don't feel too worried about this. Move in, my hybrid reavers. A mothership, carriers, hybrid nemesis, battle cruisers, most of them mercenary versions. This is the death fleet to end all death fleets. Dream just can't stand up to our firepower. They're in full retreat. Well, that's done, that's probably smart of them. Looks like you've got one heck of a Zerg problem here. Where do you need us? We're ready to evacuate, but none of the teams I sent to purge the Foundation data cores have reported back. Hmm. I need you to destroy those cores before the Queen of Blades finds them and discovers the coordinates of the remaining artifacts. Okay. A fate Mayrude might not have given me anything, but I can now build something called a Skylord, which I guess is a carrier variant? I have no idea what that is. So, apparently the difference is that a Skylord can just launch all its interceptors into a spot, and then they'll just hang out there for a while for 60 seconds but the ones you launch don't actually attack so it seems to be little more than like a distraction which honestly doesn't seem particularly helpful but you know they can't all be winners at least they look cool Oh. As all are one. Okay. I suppose I could use four Taldarim motherships. Mineral field depleted. You know what also might be fun on this level? Recruiting these heroes. Let's get ourselves a Jim Rainer and a Rory Swan. Okay, yeah, that that's probably what James and Swan look like. Okay, Swan is a super mutalisk. What's up? Uh, James still a zealot with a sniper rifle. 
But Stepman? Yeah, we can use a Stepman. See? Man, he's scientist. great. He's a right. he's a right. Reaper. Yes, sure. I guess. I'll be honest, I don't really know how that helps us. Base is under hey, what do you know? We get a Tychus after all. So what the heck are you? Uh, oh, that's right. You are a hybrid nemesis. Well, go join the Death Fleet, I guess. Okay, the artifact's secure. That that is not how I remember that last battle going. We will pursue you to the end of the universe. Normally, this is the level where I would gain access to battle cruisers. Let's see what I get instead. Caution. Anomalous gravity distortion detected. There's the first rift field Valerian talked about. Yep. The battle cruise. Oh! Channel the light device. Void rays! Okay. Another day, another death fleet. Alright, we're clear. Time to take on Char. And finally, complete this campaign. You know, I'm gonna be honest, this looks like a pretty damn good army. Well, we've got our heroes in their interesting new forms. Now, to be fair, you're not supposed to have flyers for this mission. A man's gotta so, do what a man's gotta do. I kind of feel like I'll Dang probably I'll just be able to sneak around to the walk. objectives. Huh. That wasn't so bad. She's dead, is moving it's to time to go all in. A 45-minute defense, defense mission. Unfortunately, and the last the level the of Starcraft, Starcraft 2. Intel provided by the Mobius Foundation suggests... Even with my extremely overpowered sets of units, this is going to take some careful execution. I've got pretty good defenses in place here. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, that is so many air units. Holy crap. That is so many overlords. Alright, we, we have a serious problem. Oh, crap. I kind of forgot how much the overlord assault just really sucks. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, yep. There's the big one. Scanners show the largest Zerg bio signature I've ever seen. And it's headed they, to Whoa, wave. okay, that is a That is a special attack wave. There you go. Yamato gun. Alright, Nemesis defeated. Retreat, retreat. 96% complete. You know what? Screw it. Let's send my entire massive unstoppable army and throw it straight at the enemy. Let's go for a grand finale. Eh, that Hydralisk will be fine. See? I got my turrets. They'll handle this. And that 
is how you beat a completely normal campaign of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty.